during Circuit Breaker, this place was a ghost town. It's just like food panda riders, grab food riders, all those kind of people. The first time the CB lifted and you start seeing chairs and people coming in, it was very weird. It was like, why are you here? You know, you're not supposed to be here. Because it was like two, three months long of just nobody. People coming back was, it was good. But at the same time, it was also scary because you don't know who is sick, who is not sick. It's been four months since the nationwide circuit breaker to curb COVID-19 was enforced, majorly disrupting the F&B industry. Since then, many businesses have either gone under and even long-established family restaurants have been struggling to keep their doors open. To survive in this disruptive COVID-19 era that no one can predict the end to, there's only one rule in the rule book: to adapt or die. I'm Happy Oven's owner. Happy Oven is a traditional meat shop. Add some modern flavors. I've been in this industry for 40 years. I can say that my childhood is filled with meat and eggs. Before the war, my health was still good. It's been a long time since the war. 那一段阻断的时间的时候，我就开始紧张起来，因为感觉到情况是越来越糟了，根本都没有想到会影响到这么大。刚开始以为是像杀死一样的，但过后，那情况不是这样，这很迅速的传开了。在阻断的那两个星期那边，有下降到一半的营业额了，因为只能卖卖面包了。所有的蛋糕全部停止，情绪当然会比较低落一点。我里面的员工都帮我到四年到六年、八年的都有，所以我有跟他们讲，这只是暂时性而已。我们现在比较少一点，那我们就做少一点。你们的薪酬、你们的应得的东西，我都会给你，我不会扣除你们的一分钱。Hi, my name is John Paul. I own Guba Kia here at Timber Plus. This is my dad. He helps me out since he closed down his shop at Maxwell due to COVID, and now he's been helping me out here regularly. Well, we've been in Maxwell for a year plus, and response are very good. But after that, talking about the, the convicts, I can feel that during lunch time, business are really going down tremendous. Maxwell is more on tourists. We depend lunch on our locals, peoples. From here, I think we better wind up because it's not worth waiting. Firstly, the renter are high. Work stress because every day you come to work, you feel like, oh, I hope I got customer come in. It's really wasting of time sitting there like we are doing nothing, and I'm not young anymore. I feel a bit sad because they really know our place for one and a half year, and suddenly wind down. And a lot of people text it, when will you open again? Trying what I can do now is just to help my son run the store, guide him. Founder of Land and Dad. So Land and Dad was founded about five years ago. Before this COVID-19 pandemic, we were operating for about three months、uh, at our new location. So a lot of support from friends, family, regulars. So we were actually gaining momentum. We were actually looking forward to expansion and, and basically hiring hiring a bigger team, that kind of stuff. And then the moment news came about, we were still a bit. Confused at that time because no clear message was put across, so it was very, a very confusing time. We expected it to be hard hit because、uh, during circuit breaker, obviously, an establishment like ours, we depend a lot on、uh, dining and basically the vibe of the place and people come and congregate in groups. Just depending on takeaway and deliveries for our business model is not sufficient. We, we interact with our customers very often. So it, if we lose the interaction, it's just basically a meal. Basically, when we do dining, we do draft beers fresh from the tap. So we had to change to a bottle model, and we went online. And when it comes to bottles, a lot of our customers will compare with like FairPrice, Redmart, and that kind of stuff. So it didn't move as much. It was mostly support from regulars. When circuit breakers started, we were about eighty percent down in the first week. And then we started strategizing, and then, but eventually we probably pulled it up just a bit more. Beyond the loss in income, many smaller and independently owned restaurants are focused simply on survival, taking things in stride with the intent of keeping their doors open as a priority. Timur Plus is famous for its live music, so that's what draws the crowd in for dinner. Other than that, if there's no live band, which like now quite dull. 
there isn't that much things going on. People rather go home and eat. For me, I was just very lost because you don't know how long is this gonna like go on for. You know, like the joy of like being here cooking for people and take a food. You see them in front of the shop eating and like slurping out the bowl. But like you don't see that. Like the only people you see is just I just look at him, you look at me, that kind of thing. So <laughs> very stressful for me. I'm just happy that my dad. I mean, happy and sad that he had to close his shop because in the end of the day, he could come here and help me out. As in many other industries, a silver lining for these business owners have been e-commerce, allowing them to reach customers who they cannot meet. But that's not a silver bullet either. To be honest, since COVID, we were doing more takeaways, more online and social media presence. We were focusing a lot on customer interactions on site, like for walk-ins. So during COVID, we had to change. We had to basically interact with customers online. So we were replying on a lot of the posts. We weren't very active before COVID. It's almost impossible not to have that online or media presence. In online, there was a long time. But this pandemic, because of the long time, people can't go out. They can go down to the bottom of their life. Actually, my age is not too young. This thing is not too young. I'm not too familiar with it. But this pandemic, I know the importance of the bottom of the bottom. 我也经常在学习了，就比如在 YouTube 看戏，我也学了两个星期，但是也没法了。我能进步的也只是一个空间而已。I think this has bridged the gap between consumers and F&B owners because through this pandemic, everyone actually sees the other side of F&B and then they empathize with owners, small businesses, that kind of thing. And it also has brought the F&B community closer together. It's no longer you are my competitor or, or, or not really. We're all on the same boat. So we need to get through this in order for, for, for us to survive. I thank my customers because they support me in this time of the time, in this very serious environment. They are very supportive. Even if they can't go out, they will also be on the top of the top. It will become my motivation. I hope that this traditional level of traditional level can be continued. 我们这种饮食服务业，我希望大家能顺利的度过这个难关，加油！<笑>